In this episode, we circle around to the south side of the house and put in the bigger windows. We got practice on the smaller windows, and now it's time to do the large ones on the south side. The quote to have these professionally installed was several dollars per linear inch of perimeter, so we're saving hundreds of dollars per window. That extra of wood blocking above and below each window is not great thermally, but it doesn't make much difference in the big picture. The outer part of the buck is curved to align with the curved walls, and then one layer in on the top and bottom is straight, and that's meant for the nail fins that need to be straight for the windows. You can see there's some extra blocking in there that we don't need. And that was because we'd used an earlier version of the plans that was out of date and had incorrect dimensions. We ended up having to go down another three inches to get to the next standard Pella size so that that transom at the top would match the top of the windows on either side. So the lesson learned is that if your plans get updated, just throw out the old printed ones. Even if you paid 60 bucks to print them, throw them out so you don't accidentally use them. For each window, we started by sanding and cleaning up the frames. They're treated wood, but they had been out in the weather for quite a while and had been roughed up a bit by the environment, shot creed, etc. So they needed to be smoothed. Once smooth and square, we added the window sealing tape. This has like a sticky rubber on one side to seal against the wood and then a nice smooth surface on the other so the windows slide in nicely. Then we lift the windows into place, shim them level and secure them with screws through the wood frame and into the buck on the inside. I mostly had pretty tight fits on these windows, much tighter than the manufacturers recommend. In addition to being larger, these south side windows are designed for passive solar applications. They have a, a special low E coating that is designed to let the heat in but not bounce it out again. Ella calls these natural sun windows. Previously they were only available in Canada, but now they're available in the US as well. Here's a slightly closer view of the process. I level it and David adds screws from the outside and then I add more on the inside to really hold it in place. Sherry adds these strips of lath with lath screws through the nail flange so it'll better hold onto that hydraulic cement and stucco that we add later. Next, Sherry tapes up the windows with stucco tape. It's great stuff that sticks really well but always pulls away nice and cleanly. It's there to protect the window frame from the stucco and the trowels and anything else in that process. Then Sherry adds a layer of scratch stucco. That was about all we filmed. A later video will show the rest of the stucco on that wall and some other steps. Since we're short on video, I'll show you a few pics. Here we get a closer look at Michael's job of installing the window cranks, etc. He had to climb the ladder to get up in that transom and do it after we were out of the way. Here's a close up on one of the other transoms. You can also see the nail flange, lath, etc. Do we ever open these transoms? Nope, not since that day. But we could, and that's what matters. Here's a view of the inside of the house with those large central windows still in their boxes. That south wall is really the only one that uses steel stud in this whole house. We'll have another video finishing all that up. 
Well, that's it for now. Next video, we're back to finishing up the tower.